and welcome to another Top Table Gaming YouTube channel. You're joined by me, Jay, and this is Hobby Vlog Episode 2. If this is your first time here at the channel, make sure you subscribe and check out the masses of content we've got over on the channel. So, Hobby Vlog number 2, and thank you for the amazing response the first one got. It done a lot better than I expected, and it, best of all, it proves to Steve that I do actually paint, which was the win. <laughs> Um, so as I said in my first one, I can be a little fickle with my projects and I'm trying to use this as a way of keeping me tight and structuring what I paint and getting stuff done for the channel. I deviated a little bit, I'm not going to lie. I got some of the stuff I did say done, uh, some of it I did not and I actually started some new projects but that's what we do, we're hobbyists, right? We love the new shinies but without further ado, let's get rid of me and let's show you what I've been working on this week. Okay, so first up is Shade Spire, and as you guys know, as part of Hobby Vlog number one, make sure you check that out. I was aiming to get my two uh, warbands finished from the Night Vault starter set, and I actually excelled that, but not by myself, I must admit. So, we've got three new warbands painted up to play some Shade Spire for the channel. And let's start with the original Stormcast warband. Um, how cool are these now? Confession, and thank you, these are not painted by me, so... Good friend of mine, Lee, uh, actually also playing in the AOS team tournament in January together, the Spoon Clan Alliance. He sent me these. He had that I found them on a trade page while we were chatting about other things. I dropped him a message and he's pinged me these bad boys in the post. So thank you so much, Lee, for these. Um, just means an extra warband that we can get on the channel. And it's, of course, Steel Hearts Champions, the originals, uh, which are really cool. And ones I never got around to painting. So this takes my warbands up to six, along with the dwarves, the skaven, and the corn. And I've got my gores ready to be done as well. So those are the champions. And then, of course, I've got my stormcast from the Night Vault starter set here. Now, as you can see, they are um, very, very uh, simple paint schemes. So these are to match my stormcast eternals, which um, I use in AOS. And I wanted a scheme to get them done quickly when 2.0 comes out and... It's just black prime with grey, really dark grey zenithal priming and then some dry brushes up to white. My OS army does have a little bit more character because I went to town on the bases using cork and texture paints and stuff. But here's something I've experimented with. I've actually tinted bits of this one yellow. Now I don't know what you think. Just to add a bit of colour because obviously the bases on my OS army are what make the army really pop. But yep. Yeah absolutely smash these out super fun and fast don't look anywhere near as good as lee's but i love the scheme and my whole aos army in the scheme actually looks quite cool on the table which i will be using in jan and that's it and then of course we've got the thorns of the briar queen the other half of the night vault starter set and again super simple scheme here um just a wash that is um nikolai oxide lamy medium and a drop of Drakenhof Nightshade over white is all I've done and you can see the wash is quite well balanced that it looks really good and then obviously all I've done extra is paint the metals on these and then for the Briar Queen herself I've just used like a green and purple wash for the flowers and stuff but these are just such cool models and it's actually inspired me to get building some of my Night Haunt stuff um, but these are really cool Again, really fast just to smash them out. Get them on the table so we can get some games recorded because in 2019 I'd like to start playing a bit more Shades by because I do feel like we owe the channel some more battle reports and this is something I think we could do quick, fun and with lots of variety. So there you go. And those are my three warbands for Shades by Alright guys, next up is Here's Negan, so I managed to grab a copy of this when it came out and off the back of playing in Paul Welsh's excellent The Winter's End Walking Dead tournament, my Walking Dead vibe is back with a vengeance. So, we now have a completed Here's Negan set so we can start filming on the channel. So, of course, we've got the main man Negan. Now this isn't the Negan from the set, because I'm an idiot and dropped him, but there is the Negan that I painted about nine months ago when I was playing Walking Dead. So the idea behind Here's Negan is you play as his lieutenants, which are the other five characters that you see here. We've got Dwight, Laura, John, Tara, and Sherry. And you are clearing out Sanctuary. 
and Negan is there as well. And if you're not doing a good enough job, you're going to know about it. And it is a semi-co-op game, but the winner is the person who has the highest reputation at the end or who impressed Negan the most. So you do have opportunity to kind of fight for glory as well. So I painted these in a very similar style as all my other Walking Dead stuff because these do have profiles for All Out War, which I'm hoping to get more of on the channel soon. Um, and with my Walking Dead stuff, I really focused on speed and trying to make them look good quickly so a lot of it i think apart from the skin um and the odd detail pretty much everything is base coats and washes but i'm really happy with how they've come out like here is dwight so dwight is such a cool model uh, we all know him from the tv series as well and i believe this is who daryl dixon was probably based on originally he's got his crossbow uh, very cool models. We've got John, the bruiser of the group. Really cool. This is probably my favourite as well. This is just a chick with attitude. Uh, kind of messed up her nose. She looks a bit like Voldemort, but that's my paint job. I will fix that at some point. But again, just really, really cool. One piece hard plastic models. And I can't wait to play some of this. Um... Me and Lee were going to play last week, but with it being Christmas and stuff, life is just busy. But what can you do? But we are hoping to get plenty more of this on the channel in the new year. And then with painting these guys, I was like, I am really, I love painting these miniatures from Mantic. It's great fun. They're really good to do in good numbers because you can use a lot of the same colour palettes and stuff. And I love slapping the blood on all the bases. And the beauty of the Here's Negan set is the zombies are the same as some of the plastic zombies they already have, so I didn't have to paint them, which is good. And I was kind of like, do you know what? I'm going to deviate from my hobby vlog pan. I'm going to paint some more survivors because I'm having a whale of a time. So let me switch and show you those now. Walking Dead All Out War. As I've just said, I couldn't help but paint some more survivors. I get a lot of pleasure out of painting these models. They are great fun and... I have been chatting with the guys at Mantic and they've sent me through some stuff I was missing because there are tons of solo play scenarios right through the story of the comic books and stuff which I want to play so a lot of this painting is survivors needed for that at different points that I don't already have painted so you'll be seeing lots of solo stuff because the beauty of it is the studio is in Element Games I get a lunch break I can start filming little one player bat reps for you on lunches and mean we can bring you a lot more content plus i love painting these survivors and i had to start with wave five abraham because whoa what a beast he's got his baseball bat which of course i had to add some blood to and his assault rifle and he just looks hard as nails and then we got dale is probably the other recognizable one of course with his sniper rifle and then yep yeah, i just had a bit of fun with these just getting them as tabletop ready as I can so we can show them you on the channel because they are wicked little one piece miniatures. They're a joy to paint. Um, and base coat and washing these guys, I mean, they're not going to be golden demon level, but I'm happy with how they look. And when they're on the table, they look pretty legit, I must admit. So I batched out another eight survivors for The Walking Dead. And in your face, Steve, who says I don't paint, but last, but by no means least, I'm going to show you my Song of Ice and Fire stuff. A Song of Ice and Fire. I love this game right now, and I am really fed up of painting red Lannisters, but the, the end is getting close. Um, and we have finished another unit of guard to go alongside my unit of mountains men. So two out of six. Oh, that's depressing. Two out of six of the units that I use in my current list are now painted. Uh, with the third being well on the way. And this is Lannister Guard. So these are your kind of just foot troops. Your basic troops of the Lannisters. Let's give you a look at a couple of these. So again, you're playing a mass battle game. Focus is getting these done and out. So that's the Guard Captain. As you can see, I've put a bit more time into the red. That got a little highlight in. A lot of the rest is base cuts and washes. Because I just want these on the table for you guys. These are actually amazing. So these and the Mantic models I've just showed you, um, alongside probably in third SFG stuff, are my favourite uh, one-piece hard plastics because there's no assembly required. These come exactly as you see them in front of you. And they're just wicked models. They're actually really characterful. So every unit tends to have four poses. 
as you can see. And yeah, they're just really cool. Um, technically, these aren't done. I'm cheating a little bit because I've not done the snow effects on the bases, but I plan on doing the whole army um, at the end, which would just make things easier. The other thing I'm thinking about doing, do let me know in the comments below. You can see I've painted the base rims black around the texture paint that I've laid, but if I pop them back, I hope you can see this. You see bits of the black rims when they're in the movement tray. Should I paint them brown? Let me know. But this symbolizes the second unit of um, Lannisters that I've got finished alongside my Mountains men, which I think I showed you in a previous video. So these are the Mountains kind of elite, heavily armored, claymore-wielding beasts. So we've got two units done. And now let's talk about what I'm going to do before my next hobby vlog. I'm not going to show it you because you've seen a lot of it. My plan is to finish my Song of Ice and Fire Force because it's a huge mass battle. I'm working on multiple projects. is isn't working. So I want to get this done because we've just got Here's Negan, More Walking Dead and Shades Fire locked in, ready to film. If I get these done, it's another game I can film without hobby work and we can hit the new year on new projects. So my plan for this year is... It's to finish the army, so we currently have one unit of uh, Mountains Men and one unit of Lannister Guard painted. What I'd like to get in the new year is I need to do another unit of Lannister Guard, another unit of Mountains Men, and then two units of Lannister Cavalry. And I can actually show you, which was why the weird cut was, this is my test model, uh, which I did today actually, not quite finished, but this is my test model for the cavalry so what i've got left to do guys is another 12 of these another 12 of the mountains went and eight of these all the characters are already done i usually use characters as treats but for this i couldn't resist painting some of my favorite people from the tv show so hopefully in hobby vlog 3 you're going to see a finished lannister army on the table as well as everything that i'm going to start working on in the new year and that is hobby vlog 2 in the bag let's count it up i got 12 20 20 Five thirty-one. Is that right? Twelve Lannister Guard painted. We got the five his Negan models painted, and then eight other survivors. That's thirteen twenty-five. Twenty-eight. Thirty-five. We got thirty-five models painted for Hobby Vlog Two, which I am super happy with. Now I know we didn't see a return of the Kings of War Vanguard, but we're gonna. There are secret things afoot and someone doing me something very special for that. So I'm going to leave those alone because we have something coming. But we've got 31 models painted for Hobby Vlog 2. And if I hit my target of finished in my Lannisters for Hobby Vlog 3, which is going to be what I work on between Christmas and New Year, that's going to be another 12, 24, 32 models. Wow. That's pretty impressive for me, but I've got a bit of a painting kick at the moment. So I hope you're enjoying watching these Hobby Vlogs. Let me know any questions you've got about anything I've painted or any suggestions that you could help me improve with. Enjoy the videos as always, guys. Check out the rest of the stuff on the channel. Have a very Merry Christmas, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, there we have it. That is what I've been working on this week, and you guys have checked out what I've done. We've, of course, done a, another unit for A Song of Ice and Fire, which I cannot get enough of. You've seen the Shadespire warbands are done. And of course, we've hit the Here's Negan stuff, so we are ready to play that too. Um, next week, of course, I'm gonna we're hitting Christmas now, and I really want to use Christmas as an opportunity to get all of my Song and Ice and Fire done. But while on such a Walking Dead hype, I've also thrown some more Survivors in the mix. Hope you've enjoyed this video and hobby vlog. Let us know what you guys would like to see me paint. If there's anything that you guys know I play that you'd love to see me work on, if you want to know, God knows why, but if you want to know how I've done anything, uh, paint wise in my hobby vlogs let us know get involved in the comments below as always guys happy gaming and thanks for watching this video